In this problem, we have to find the interval and radius of convergence of the power series. So the easiest way to do this is to notice that this is actually a geometric series. We can write this as follows. The infinite sum as k runs from 1 to infinity. And notice everything is to the kth power. So what you can do is you can write it like this, negative 1 tenth x minus 3, and then just raise everything to the kth power. Properties of exponents allow us to do that. If we go backwards, it basically means you raise the negative 1 to the k, the 10 to the k, and the x minus 3 to the k. So it's the same thing. So now you see you have something to a power. That's going to be your r. So r is negative 1 tenth x minus 3. And to recall that the geometric series test says if the absolute value of r is less than 1, you have convergence. And if the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1, you have divergence. So we know we'll have convergence when this is true, and then otherwise it will diverge. So we won't have to check the endpoints in this case. Okay, so let's go ahead and find those values of x for which the series converges. So we'll take r. So negative 1 tenth, parentheses, x minus 3. And we'll put it in absolute value, and we'll set that less than 1. So you can just take the absolute value of each piece. The absolute value of negative 1 tenth is 1 tenth. And then we still have the absolute value of x minus 3. And that's all less than 1. We can multiply both sides by 10. So we have the absolute value of x minus 3 and that's less than 10. Now, when you drop the absolute value, um, you put a plus or minus, so x minus three less than 10, and then greater than negative 10. Then we'll just add three to all three parts of this inequality. And that will give us, uh, looks like negative seven less than x, less than 13. And so the final answer is negative 7, 13. And that's it. We don't have to check the endpoints. So again, when you use the geometric series test, it tells you that it converges for the absolute value of r less than 1, and it diverges otherwise, so greater than or equal to 1. In particular, it diverges when it's equal to 1, and that gives you the endpoints. So we know it'll diverge in these cases, so you always just use parentheses to not include the endpoints whenever you use uh, the geometric series test. This question also wanted the um, radius of convergence. Let's go back to the original question. So here the center is 3. You can tell that because typically power series look like this. a sub k, x minus c to the k. And so you see this piece here is your a sub k. Oops, it's a k. <laughs> so there you go, a sub k, it's better. And you see c is equal to 3 in this case. So the center is 3. So let me draw a picture. So here's 3, here's 13, and then here is negative 7. So this is the center, and these are the endpoints. So the radius is just this distance here, which would be 10. You can also go this way, and it's also uh, 10. So the radius is 10. So r is equal to 10. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.